dear students in today's video we will study window to viewport transformation so this is a sort of transformation in which a window seen from window later we will learn what is a window is to be transformed into a viewport this also we will learn so before going into details let us see uh, see the scenario through this diagram actually this is a small hill is the actual scene in the word which is to be depicted on your monitor screen on your viewport so uh, the actual scene which is depicted through the coordinates these coordinates are known as word coordinates so word coordinates deal with the actual scene the actual scene which is to be depicted is known as in technical terms it is known as word and, and from the this view we will decide what part is to be depicted on the screen because whole of the scene cannot be it's a three dimensional 360 degree scene and you cannot depict it on a limited sized monitor so you will select the portion of the scene word which is to be depicted on the screen and the portion of course uh, how to clip it we have learnt it in detail that the ex additional part which is not to be included in the picture how to clip it we have learnt it in detail so now the, the part which is to be shown on the monitor from the actual word is known as window so window technically is the part of the word scene which is to be depicted on the monitor screen but this actual window is is uh, is not of the size of the monitor it may be larger or it may be smaller also so therefore before fitting it into the viewport this is the viewport viewport is the area of the monitor screen where your scene where your window is to be depicted here so now before uh, depicting we have to scale it according to the size of the window so that this clipped window exactly fits in the viewport so uh, before going into more details let us see <coughs> what uh, what stages it has to be uh, gone through that your uh, actual scene is depicted to you uh, on the monitor screen first of all the the scene to be depicted to be picturized is in the modeling coordinates after some processing it is to be converted converted into word coordinates and after a few more uh, few more calculations this wc word coordinate system is is converted into viewport coordinate system and after this viewport coordinate system can be cannot be straight which is to be shown it may be skewed or tilted so this this defect is removed through some processing and after that we get the normalized coordinates so normalized coordinates after getting them we have to convert it into device coordinates which actually is depicted through the scene so this is the pipeline through which your scene is to go so so many steps this uh, these steps are accomplished before picturization of the scene to you on the monitor so we are uh, in today's video we are focused on the word to viewport conversion so let's go ahead in this conversion obviously we had we will have the word coordinates and we will do some processing this processing is the part of this lecture and we after that processing we will be having the viewport coordinates now let's take the scene through the simple example let us suppose this is your clipping window obviously clipping window is expressed by these coordinates x w min w i have taken for representation of window later on we will have viewport also we will then have x v so x w min 
and YW min are the first extreme corner and the second extreme corner is XW max and YW max. So these describe the window coordinates of the window. Let us suppose this is the picture inside the window which we want to depict on a viewport which may be larger or smaller in the size. Let us suppose this is the scenario. This is the viewport and uh, viewport is also rectangular in this case and we are depicting it with x v min v means viewport x v min y v min and x v max y v max so the image is to be fit into this window in a proportionate manner so that exact same um, for example this is uh, uh, not in the middle to the left of the middle in this window also this image is a bit to the left of the window so to exactly shift this image into this image this viewport window we will have to make some calculations first of all every diagram for example this arrow shaped diagram in the in our example is to be segregated by individual defining points let's take a single defining point i have taken this tip of the arrow this point xw yw is the coordinate for this point so this point uh, this point has coordinates in window xw yw and if i uh, shift it to the viewport this point will be shifted to another location which will have coordinates x v v means viewport x v y v so our task is to calculate these values so if we want to convert we want to transform this point x w y w into the viewport x v y v will be the coordinates for that point we want to know these values this can be achieved by using a simple equation of similarity so this window scene is depicted here in this form xw xw is this coordinate x coordinate of this point minus xw min xw min is this divided by xw max minus xw min so this should be equal to the same scenario in the viewport for example here the point has x coordinate xv minus xv min divided by xv max minus xv min so this is the equation uh, which which will be the base of calculating the point coordinates of the new point xv right similarly we can have the similar equation for y coordinates also yv uh, here we have yw minus yw min divided by this and this is equal to this is the similar equation to this except here we are having x coordinates and we are having y coordinates in this equation so we will use these equations as a base to calculate xv from this set uh, this equation and yv from this equation so if we rearrange uh, it very carefully we will get these equations the first equation rearranged into this form in this form i have taken xv which is to be calculated on the left hand side and the rest of the parameters are on the right hand side in this form so you get this equation for evaluation of xv each and every item on the right hand side is well known xv min is the viewport coordinate minimum x coordinate of the minimum extreme point of the viewport window similarly you can check all the values on the right hand side of this equation are known you can simply put them and calculate the value of xv similarly by arranging the right hand side equation we have get, got this equation in which yv is calculated by using this expression here also all the terminals uh, all the parameters are known so by filling the by filling the values of these parameters you can calculate yv so after calculating xv and yv you have got the location new location of the corresponding point in the viewport so this 
uh, the, the, this set of equations can be applied to each and every point each and every defining point in the diagram for example this was translated to this point similarly we will transform this point it will be transformed here and similarly all the defining points will be applied to the same set of equations and then the image will be redrawn this way you can transform your image from window to viewport thank you very much